Let's begin by sh showing you the rectangular marquee tool. It is located in the toolbar right over here. And anyway, with that selected, let me just show you some of the things that most of the select tools have. So to use the marquee, you can just click and drag and you'll get the marching ants. All right. Now, there's a couple of different things. I'm going to go Command D or Control D on a PC to drop that selection. If I hold my Option key down or my Alt key on a PC, I can draw out a selection from the center rather than from an edge. Again, Command or Control D. If I hold down my Shift and Option, I'll draw out a perfect square. If I just hold my shift key down, I'll draw out a perfect square. Once you have a selection that you're drawing, let's say you're in the wrong place, you can press the space bar while you're making that selection and you can move the selection at that point to anywhere you want to move it to and then you can continue to draw the selection after you let go of the space bar. Again, while you're making your selection, just hold the space bar down to move it. When you let go of the selection, then you can continue with that. Another thing that you can do in most of the selection tools is if you hold your shift key down after you've made your selection, the cursor will change to a plus and you can add to your selection. If you hold down the option key, you can, you'll see that the cursor becomes a minus and you can subtract from the selection. If you hold down both the shift and the option key, you can do what's called an intersection. So wherever you draw, your next selection will intersect with what you have. And when you let go, that's what you'll end up with. One other thing about the rectangular marquee that you can, that you need to know about is you can feather a selection, but you need to do so before you start the selection process. So you can, you can just click on the word feather and drag to the left or the right. And then when you draw your selection, it will be feathered. And to show you this best, I'm going to press Q for quick mask. And you can see that. So that's a feathered selection. I'll press quick mask again and drop the selection. And I'm going to set that all the way back down to zero and do the same thing, press quick mask again. There you have a hard edge selection. But you have to do this before you make your selection for the feather to work. 